procedures, build sheets, um, how to measure to make sure they all come up the same. So he's building the, the procedure. He's also building every one of the engines for the time being until we feel that it's 100% perfected and then yeah. add an assistant on the uh, But at <laughs> the and, beginning, he not only does the procedures, he builds them as well. Yeah, and, and uh, when you're talking about the V10 engine product, then it's a stroker and it's also the S2 kit? The no, S2 is all external stuff. This is just, okay. the, this is just the engine yeah. itself, the 5.7 liter. Yeah, the stroker, yeah. And it's a, it's a lot of little things people don't think of as well. If we could flip it around and talk to you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, a lot of people, when they deal with Aliasil, are you familiar with Aliasil? Yes, yeah, but I, I think you could learn me one, one, one or two things about that. So. <laughs> okay, well, Aliasil is a, is a block that's impregnated with a high percentage of silicon, and it's somewhere like 33, 36 percent of the exact number. I think it's made by Reynolds, isn't it? Uh, it it's the company in Germany. Uh, yeah. KS that actually perfected uh, the technology for right, but I think the aluminum is made by Reynolds. Um, either that or their Alcoa. I, I think maybe Reynolds also owns Alcoa. Anyway, uh, what it is is they impregnate the block with silicon, and instead of putting a steel sleeve in, like you'd see in like a Cadillac or yeah. Star motor, they actually hone the cylinder. But the honing process has to be done with a special stone at a special speed, or you tear the silicon because the silicon yeah. is impregnated into the bore. Yeah. Okay, then when you're done cutting it, then you go in and hone it again to certain pressure to turn speed so you don't tear the silicon because the silicon is, is embedded in the aluminum. Yeah. Then you have a burnishing process. What the burnishing process is a paste that puts high pressure and high heat and spins a pad, yeah. like a felt pad, against the board. And what that does is that etches away, it's an etching paste, it etches away the aluminum, heats up the silicon and glazes the silicon on the inside of the board to make a silicon coating for the piston to ride on. Yeah. Because this is a very low friction, very smooth surface. Yeah. Now it seals better and it makes more power and it's more consistent with expansion than a steel liner, which is the advantage of it. Yeah. The disadvantage of it is the block casting is very expensive because of the, of the silicon content. Yeah. And, the, and the honing and boring process is extremely tedious. Yeah. It has to be done correctly or you damage the silicon and then it wears out the engine because it doesn't have the silicon coating. Yeah, and that's bad. <laughs> so one of Frank's main job was to come up with a way to determine silicon crystal damage. Yeah. Okay, so this is done that's with an electronic surface gauge to tell us how smooth it is as well as you actually put an acetate tape on here and put it under an electron microscope. Yeah. And you can see how much silicon is still attached. Wow. After you hone it. That, that's a very uh, specific problem you're working on or yeah. very detailed. Yeah. We want to do this before we put it in production. We, we also bought a CNC machine with the right cutting tool. And we also bought a CNC honing machine with the right honing and, and paste. And it cost us $170,000 worth of equipment yeah. to run it correctly. And as Frank said, he contacted Kobenschmidt, who's a German yeah. company who came up with the honing and etching process, yeah. got the process from them and how to test it, and then it went through the testing procedure. Yeah. Okay, so it's a lot more than just putting the parts in the motor. It is. Right, because you want this thing to last a long time, that's the goal. Yeah, because, you, 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 because you're selling it with warranty. Yeah. yeah. So you, you saw that report that came back from the yeah. desk. Yeah, Chris told me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good, yeah. So um, we're actually thinking about bringing the microscope in the house. We actually found a company that makes a digital video camera that goes up to what's the power on the digital? Uh, Five hundred times. Five hundred times. Is, times. Is yeah. What they uh, had indicated. Yeah. Was their crystal. So we're actually going to buy a digital video camera, <coughs> so right down here, and put it on a computer CRT and see the damage to the crystals on every motor and every board. Wow. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> These are the sort of things that BMW does as a manufacturer, which yeah. is why the stuff lasts one hundred fifty thousand miles. So what yeah. most people do is they either put the steel sleeve in, yeah. or, or hone it badly and damage the crystals, and then the engine will wear out prematurely. And, and also what we, what we learned from <clears throat> the summer is uh, the parts for the stroker engine, you're actually all of them from, from BMW's OEM manufacturers as Some well. Some of the parts, yes, the pistons like come from Molly, there's the yep. box right there, and that's who makes BMW's original pistons, and, BMW, and Molly puts the original coating on the pistons yep. that BMW puts on the original pistons. Uh, and, just and, and just so you know, any similar metals want to bond. Yep. Steel wants to bond to steel, aluminum wants to bond to aluminum. So yep. since this is aluminum and the piston's aluminum, they would naturally want to bond. Yep. So they actually put a, an iron spray coating on the piston skirt. This is yep. the original piston is made. Do you have a piston around the show? Yeah. I thought I'd get a set of new ones instead of the set that had come out of that motor. Yeah. And, and so this, it's a, called a fair stand coating. Yep. And it's invented by uh, Molly does the process. They acid wash the pistons and put the ferrous stand coating on, so now we have iron running against aluminum. Yep. The piston is still made out of aluminum, but the rubbing surface is iron. Yep. It's just a, a few microns of it. This prevents the piston from galling and wearing out prematurely, but yep. it only works if you have the silicone done correctly on yep. the bowler. So, yes. <laughs> so the, the art of this whole deal is 
and it's a gold coating instead of a normal you'd have a graphite coating it's black see so how it's golden color yeah that's called ferristan got it yeah so <clears throat> in Malam, yeah these are well well known and yeah, uh, that's the original equipment supplier to yeah well yeah uh, and they're a really cool company. You'll send them motors like we run them for a few hours. You send them the parts out of them. Yeah. Analyze the parts. They'll check the hardness of the piston. They'll check uh, the wear of the skirt, and they'll make geometry changes to the piston. Send you a new batch. Yeah. And this is why the development process takes so long. Uh, so what do Molly think about uh, this project? You think you're crazy? <laughs> no, no. Six hundred and thirty horsepower. No, I think they're very excited about it and like it a lot. But yeah. you know, one of the reasons it takes so long to come to market is things have changed on the piston. Yeah. Five. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, three, originally. So they it's pretty much a matter of too to much rock to the change the taper of the skirt. Exactly. That's really the pin boss. Stress and cracks, so they change the bracing on the pin boss. Okay, so, so, so Mala changed this uh, Yeah, we send the, we, we the, the engine a few hundred miles under varying loads in yep. RPMs. We send it back to Mali. Yep. Mali actually Rockwell tests the piston for hardness to see how much the metal has been annealed. And they saw it and have to put it under a microscope. Yeah. Then they look at the wear and the coating and then they recommend changes. They change yep. them. You put it in and run a few hundred miles. Yep. Send it back again until Mali says, okay, we bless it now. Yeah. Okay, and then you know it's going to last. Uh, and, and so you also have to work with your good suppliers. First of all, you have to have OEM quality suppliers. Yeah. Then you have to work with them in a cooperative way to to get the product to last a long time. The B&W does the same thing, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know what their exact process is, but they pick partners like Molly and, yes. and that sort of thing for the same reason, right? Because they know what they're doing. So yeah, here we have stock M5 piston. Uh, uh, and th these were forged? Yeah, this is a forged piston. Uh, yeah, and these are the di yeah, dynamo. The coating on it, you can't see the coating as well in the casting because of the grayness of the, of the piston kind of makes the gold disappear a little bit. But okay. it has the exact same coating on both pistons. Yeah, and yeah, S85 engine, S65 engine, what engine is that? Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. That's what came out of the engine. Yeah, yeah, S85. It can be used in two different Yeah, yeah. Well, they use this in the M3 as well. Oh, really? They do? It's just exactly the same motor, two cylinders. Yeah, 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 it is. the M3 and the M5 engine, I think. Yeah, of course. And Probably not the S65 AMD. Cool thing about 